Hello everyone this is Mukundam Raghavan and this video we are going to cover the basics of playrate api testing what could be the scenarios we need to do the api testing along with playrate there could be three reasons possibly one is ui testing plus api testing in our project we are using the ui testing using playrate at the same time we have the api testing for the different urls now this time you can combine both in one framework by using the playrate because playrate is able to do the api testing as well second scenario in ui testing itself before starting the ui testing we have some authentication token that we need to get from by calling the different api call so for that reason you don't need to do externally to call the api to get the token and to use in the ui testing you can embed your api call inside your ui testing itself that way we can use the playrate api testing and last option would be you are doing only the api testing in your project however it is still optional to use the playrate still you can use other tools like a postman or curl commands if the request and demand is very less let's go to the first two scenarios in order to do the api testing for both scenarios we need to know the basic three objects in playrate api what are those api request api request context and api response so these are the three objects we need to know to do the api testing in playrate api request is the initial object that you need to have you may be getting this object in the different two means that we will discuss in some time by using the api request you need to create the context so context is very much required either you use api request in the different mean but you need to have the api request context and api request context is the place where you will mention your extra information metadata such as like a headers or authentication and so on and api response obviously whatever the response you are getting from the api call that will be just put it into the api response object now let's go to the basics when you create the api context api request context especially you are having two options one is like you can use the existing context that you are using from the page which means that you can use the page object itself to create the context so that you don't need to use any external configuration again whatever your application has in the playrate.config.ts it can be used for example base url or your application is different and your api testing urls and the connection system is totally different then you need to create the context from freshly creating the new request how to do that let's go one by one let's imagine you have the existing context you can use the same for imagine you have the page object every time when you use the ui testing you can use the same page dot request it will create the api context for example if you see the output you can see this is the type of api request context then by using the context you can get the different urls here you can see i am just giving only the part of the url the base url is not mentioned here but as per this page object we can use the playrate config.ts as of now i mentioned the base url as req or es dot en sorry dot in so this will be considered as the base url because we are using the page object if you go to the page object it will be using the same url it is telling us like if you have the ui application you can use the same url same configuration in case you for api call also pointing to the same base url or same configuration then we are converting into json and remaining things will be the simple asset statements to have the property to have the number validation asserts to iterate through the objects in case if we have the list of items or array of items so these are the basic asset statements and second scenario would be you need to have the different configuration and context for the api testing so that time you can use the fixture playwright and by using the fixture playwright or playwright fixture you can create the request and using the request you can create the context when you create the context you can give a lot of information including the base url because as we discussed here we are creating the new context since you are creating a new context you will not have any information including your base url you can give your base url it's not only about the base url you can give other details such as your authentication details for example extra http headers or other session details how to add that if you go to the same api request context there will be two ways to create the api request if you go to the very top i think it will be api request yes by using the api request you are creating the new context right in the options you can set the base url you can set the http credentials you can set the proxy details and storage state what not actually it should be having the extra http headers yes so this also can be sent now coming to here we are creating the new context and again 
by using the context in both scenario you can compare in both scenario we are using the context to call the different methods if you want to see what are the methods we can use it just if you just copy and see dot you can see all the possible methods get head patch post put and so on even you can save the storage state but we are going to learn one more thing in this video which is about ui mode obviously when you execute this one you may not be having the good view how to see the response and how to see the network logs so that's the reason we are going to use the ui mode how to use that let's go to the terminal npx playwright test api test.spec.ts which is our current file and iphone iphone ui so ui will open in the different ui window let's execute and see here you can clearly notice it is not executing it is opening in the ui mode now it is just like our application or your postman tool right see here you can see all the api test which you mentioned in the command and you can run it from directly and you can change the theme if you want now imagine i want to run the first one let's try to execute here you can see in the total console output you can see the response you can see the network logs here so this is the api user and this is type of request we have made and if you want to see the more details, you can see the request, you can see the response, and you can see the body. So remaining things here, you can see the source, the entire source, what we have done, and asset statements, obviously, we can check it later again, but this is the way it will work. And same thing, let's execute this one. Go to the network tab, facts, and here you can see, so this is the URL, and this is the response. I think this is a response header. If you go to the body, you can see the body. And again, you can go to the source to see where it has been entered. So this way here, we can see all the things. And here you can see before you new context created and API context get. So all the asset statements, everything will be there here. Let's imagine we will try to fail something purposefully and see the output. If I want to go here, let's make it something different and save it. And this is API test with new context. Go to the UI again and run it again. So there should be error. And here you can see expected path and received path is something array. So this is where we can have the different asset statement. We will see the asset results in the error in case if you have any failure. Otherwise, you will be having all the information in your network logs. If you print in console, you can see in the console and you can see the source code as well. Or if you don't want in case of if you are using this api call to get the token and to be used in the further ui testing you don't need to open in ui mode you can directly just save it into some variable and this token can be used in the further state so in simple in this video we have seen what are the basic scenarios we will be using the play rate api testing and we have seen what are the three main objects we should be knowing in case of if you are doing the play rate api testing the first one would be API request, second one API request context, and third one would be the API response. And we have seen two possible scenarios where you will be using the existing page object and existing context. Otherwise, even we can create our own context for the API testing by using the playwright.request. In both scenarios, we are using the context API request context object to call the different methods like a post, put, and delete patch, and so on. So this is all about this video, and always be a rainbow in others cloud.